Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you my problem with uh, Windows Update uh, that I'm having and how to fix it, actually, because it's kind of a strange fix. Let me uh, first put the caveat that uh, this error that I'm having, which basically does not allow me to check Windows Updates, uh, happened after I uh, updated the hard drive from a 300 meg hard drive to a 1 terabyte drive, and I cloned all the information over from the 300 to the one terabyte drive and that's when I got this issue everything else seems to be working just fine from the clone but this uh, this is what uh, error I got right after that happened so let's go here start button all programs Windows update and right off the mark you'll see that it's a red X which is not a good thing um, so we're going to click on the check for updates and it says Windows cannot check currently to uh, for updates because the service is not running you may need to restart your computer well that's not true and I'll show you that so we'll go to start right click my computer sorry right click computer click on manage say yes and we're gonna go to services and applications and then services Because when the computer says to me the service is not running, I check to see if the service is running or not. Okay, Windows Update. Lo and behold, it is running. And automatic delayed start is the automatic default, which is perfect. So we go to Dependencies. And you see it depends on remote procedure calls, RPC. So we'll go check that service. Because if it's not running, then that makes this service not work correctly either. So let's go to remote procedure calls. And look at that. It's running too. So there's no problem with the services. So after uh, bashing my head against the internet for a while, trying to find a solution to this issue, I finally did find it and the issue is caused by an Intel driver that you need to install for your um, basically your hard drive interface now I'm using an HP so I'm going to use their driver I think Intel has one too uh, but basically um, I'm going to give you the link to this um, update so you can get it from them and if uh, it doesn't work for you you can get one specific for your machine or your system but what you're looking for is the IRRT driver or Intel rapid uh, storage technology driver as you can see here I don't know how they get that <laughs> this from that but anyway uh, it's the Intel rapid uh, storage technology driver and you click here to download it and you save the file then after it's downloaded install it call and say yes next I accept next next and as you can see I've already installed it once so it's saying do you want to overwrite these files and I say yes to all wait for the green bar and then you get the install from in, from uh, Intel which is the Intel rapid Intel rapid storage technology driver now you do have an option here to in, install the Intel control center I really don't care I want to make this as light as possible next yes again next and as you can see it stores a bunch of hard drive and uh, uh, SATA drivers and so on and so forth basically hard drive drivers then we'll go to next and then it says I want to restart this computer so I'm gonna restart this machine and show you this worked and uh, recap and then end, end this video okay so we've rebooted and uh, now we're gonna check to see if the drivers installed fairly evident there it is, Intel Rapid Storage Technology uh, link is on your start 
that means it's installed but really what we care about is, is uh, whether Windows Update works so we'll go there all programs go to Windows Update and as you can see we now have a green check mark and two uh, optional updates are available which tells me that Windows Updates is working so that's the fix we'll go here show you where that is and that is the IRRT driver uh, I'm getting it from HP but you can get it from other places like uh, Intel's website and so on and so forth um, nice thing is that this is a signed uh, Windows driver on this link I will put the link to this driver on the description so you can get it easily and uh, fix your problem with Windows Update. Um, once again, the caveat being that it's been, uh, you know, uh, I updated my hard drive from a 300 gig to a one terabyte drive, and that's when the problem started happening. As you can see here, it says notebooks of Western Digital high density drives, such as one terabyte or 750 gigabytes, may display abnormal error messages. If the Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver is not updated, okay. So, uh, you know, the Western Digital is not a big deal because I, I used the Toshiba drive, but it's a one terabyte drive, and that's what caused the problem. Obviously, you need a special Intel driver to handle the larger drives. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.